so I had to like lock the gate because my nephews and my niece are here with me and I don't trust those kids. I don't think they understand the importance of having to stay home and not go to school. I don't even think they understand how important it is for them not to be infected. So I had to like lock the gate. I didn't lock them inside the house, but I locked them inside the yard. So if anything bad would happen, Anyways, I wanted to to talk, guys, about what is happening in our country. Not necessarily to talk about the virus, but I want to talk about what happens with our lives. Like, where are we going? Um, our dreams, our plans, our vision boards. Um, are we really going to be able to achieve the things that we have planned, the things that we have said we want to achieve in this 2020? Are uh, our dreams attainable? I know a lot of people, a lot of people are in panic mode um, concerning going to school next year in terms of going to a nursing school. And they, they might, people might feel a bit of uncertainty but according to my knowledge and logic thinking is that I don't think colleges will not have an intake in 2021. Um, remember that this year it was supposed to be a year of selection for 2021, right? So when you guys see colleges being opened, please do apply. Um, I've shared a list of accredited colleges on, on, on my channel so if you haven't checked that out please do check it out and also there are other accredited colleges that are on the south african nursing council page um, the website go through that website don't be lazy to do that go through the website and check which other uh, colleges are accredited um, I'm talking about the private colleges right now. In terms of the government colleges, I really do not know what's going to happen. But I know Ukba, the Houghton Department of Health or colleges have already made their selection, of which I don't know if they've already had a 2020, um, what do you call it, a 2020 intake or that 2020 selection they made it was for 2021 i'm gonna go ahead and find out from from one of the kids who who got selected to study with the Houghton colleges i will find out from him if they did go to to school this year or are they gonna go next year but what i wanted to to say to you to 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 those who want to study nursing, to those who are planning on studying nursing in 2021, um, please go ahead and apply to those universities. And guys, call them, not to universities, sorry, colleges, but even those who wants to go to universities, go ahead and apply to those universities. <clears throat> Let what's going on in our country not stop you from, from attaining your, 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 your dreams and your 2020 goals please apply um, but I wanted to emphasize uh, mostly to those who who are going to be um, going to, to, to private colleges those ones Baba Sanang the, the life science you know there are people that don't have life science subjects and they want to study nursing um, you probably have consumer studies you have business studies and you have English and mathematics or math, maths lead uh, and you want to be a nurse and you're wondering about where and who can admit you then most definitely those ones are the ones that are supposed to go and do the one year course which is the higher certificate in nursing um, which takes one year so those ones please you guys are the ones that I wanted to address today to say go ahead and find out which other accredited colleges on the South African nursing page don't go and find out elsewhere you guys please I'm begging you um, don't go on Facebook or, or, or on, on, on Google to find out which 
accredited institutions do we have in the country go straight to the south african nursing council that is the most reliable source for college accreditations and it's the website don't go on their facebook page okay go to their website and check which private colleges are accredited and remember some of the private colleges <coughs> when i'm saying some i know that colleges such as netcare they have a scholarship a scholarship it's that they pay for your fees uh, it's, it's um, sort of like a bursary you can you can also apply to those your net cares your your life college of nursing um, apply to those as well and yeah call the institutions once you see that the institution is accredited on the south african nursing council take their numbers call them find out about when our application opening and how do you apply and the fees everything how will the entire whole academic year turn out in 2021 so that's basically what i wanted to talk about in terms of schooling i know I have one cousin of mine in Pretoria. Um, I know how badly she wants this. I know, I know that she really wants to be in school. So yeah, let's talk about the lockdown. The lockdown to me as a professional nurse in South Africa. What does it mean? Um, to be honest, it's not as frightening as people think it is at the moment. Um, I'm not scared I'm just a bit concerned I'm a bit concerned of how our South African citizens do not take anything serious um, last week if I'm not mistaken the president came out and said that like we should practice social distancing and to my surprise people were not about that life um, People went on and made parties. Uh, people exceeded the number that was expected in gatherings, which is 800. Um, I saw all of this in social media and there were videos that were circulating, uh, citizens being concerned about uh, when we asked to be on, on social distancing, to practice social distancing. So why are gatherings and streets and taverns still opened at night? So I was really concerned about that. It really made me wonder, Okba, as South Africans, are we really, really serious about our lives? Are we really, really serious about our country, our economy? Because this thing is it's not only going to affect our health, but it's going to affect our economy, our lives. That's why when I started this video, I asked the question, Ukba, with this 2020, are we gonna be able to attain our goals? Are we, are we going to be able to, to execute our 2020 vision boards? You know, if we won't. So Thick Leonce made a, a vision board. I think I don't know when when I think it was two months back and on her vision board she had a picture of Italy she said she wanted to to go to Italy um, this year that's not going to happen it doesn't look like it's going to happen okay it, it it doesn't look like it's going to happen so this thing it's really affecting us and in a lot of ways than one it doesn't only come for our health but it also comes for our progress as individuals and these are the things that we need to to take into consideration so i was really concerned when people violated the law because whatever that the president says right now it's it's a law okay it's something that we need to abide by so i'm a bit concerned about the <coughs> lockdown uh, are south africans really going to respect it are south africans really going to stay in their houses and not go to work are uh, south africans really going to stay in their houses and not go to malls not go to town not go to tuck shops are we going to stay in, in our houses and not go to tuck shops um so yeah those are the questions that i am i am having or the concerns that i am having that as south africans i feel like we are not serious enough um and some might seem like they are serious but some are not actually majority are not and 
the more we do not take this serious the more uh, the president will be forced to make drastic uh, measures and, and we might end up in the state that some other countries that are affected by this out there are on right now my plea is that as we are getting on this lockdown in fact let me not say as we as you are getting on this lockdown stay in your houses okay stay in your houses if you cannot stay in your house for yourself then stay in your house for myself stay in your house for your neighbors because they don't want you to infect them um, just consider yourself as an infected person. I think the moment you act like an infected person, not a selfish and infected person, but a person that cares about other people, um, the moment you start treating your neighbors as infected, um, I think then people will be able to stay in their houses. I wanted to ask you guys to please, please, please stay in your houses for us as healthcare professionals because when you stay in your house, then it means um, there are lesser chances of me coming in contact with the infection. And if you don't stay in your house, then you are going to get the infection and definitely come to my clinic and I might get it as well. And I do not want it. But unfortunately, the line of work that I am in doesn't allow me to, to stay in my house. Be safe, wash your hands and, and sanitize. And to to all the other people, the essentials and the government servants and, and just to everyone that is a servant, I want to say strong to you, um, strength to you. I have made a decision of staying away from social media. Uh, reason being Social media is really toxic, you guys. Social media is extremely toxic. People are sharing videos and information that is mentally triggering. And I think at this time and at this point, I need to, to, to be mentally healthy. And I need to be mentally well. So I've decided to stay away from all my social media platforms, especially Twitter and and Facebook. I think in terms of my WhatsApp, I'm just going to ask my friends not to send me any chain messages. And in terms of Instagram, yeah, maybe that's where I will be posting and that's where you guys can find me in terms of speaking with me privately or via email. But in terms of Facebook and in terms of Twitter, I've decided to take a break because being a healthcare means that I have to be strong my immune system has to be strong so stress decreases the strength of an immune system and I don't want to, to, to go through that I don't want to go through panics I don't want to, to be frightened um, the only news that I will be absorbing are the ones that will be televised are the ones that will be on radio and yeah um, all these other platforms I am leaving them especially now that we are on lockdown I know a lot of you guys will be on your phones pressing pressing and everybody having their own opinion without thinking of the people that are on the front line of this pandemic that we are in so yeah I love you guys a lot. I don't know if when I started this video I did welcome new subscribers but yeah welcome to everyone that is new on my channel. If you're viewing my videos for the first time I am Ness Z, a South African professional nurse and I am you I am here to bring you content of nursing in South Africa. Yo by the way guys before I close off this video I know those who are following me on Instagram and Facebook they obviously expecting a video from uh, my friend and I, Bulisiho. Hey, you guys won't believe what happened. On Saturday, I went on and visited Lisiho, my friend, uh, to do a video. And we filmed the video and everything. And then I edited the video. And when I was about to move the video from my app into my phone, so that I can be able to post it on, on YouTube. I accidentally deleted the video, you guys. Yo, 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 hey. And a video earlier, like, hey, video, guys. I feel like my video. 
so we i accidentally deleted it and i don't have it anymore so that's why i didn't post it but yeah i'm gonna go back and film it i just don't know when because i also no i don't think i am going to no not i don't even think i won't be able to go and film the video with her since we are on lockdown so obviously i have to do the video with her after the lockdown only if you guys cooperate because the lockdown will be off if we cooperate as south african citizens um so yeah i don't know when you will you guys see me with the seho but whenever you see me with the seho just know that we will be bringing you guys content and that is not nursing related i want to accommodate other people as well people that are not into nursing so i want to accommodate those as well and i think i'll be bringing in other people to come and help me accomplish that mission so yeah maslare isn't lini shalane isn't lini not maslare shalane isn't lini and <coughs> just take care of yourselves um take care of your children do not go to malls um when you guys really stay in your houses when you guys really obey the law um then you are making it easier for us who cannot stay home even when we want to we would really love to also be on lockdown but we have to be out and be ready to receive some of you all um and hold your hands when you are terrified hold your hands when you are in pain while we would be suppressing our own fears so yeah i'm off social media you can find me on facebook you can also not find me on twitter then definitely you can send me a, a dm on on instagram and also you can send me an email and if you, if you have my number you can call me but yeah that's that i love you guys so very much please do subscribe to my channel if you are new yo i can't begin to thank you guys enough for a thousand subscribers so yeah let's grow the channel mwah, mwah. guys i work so far i work really far i'm something like 30 minutes away from work right now so i'm still going to try yo guys how how do my parents feel about me being a nurse right now <laughs> Shem. They, i think they are scared you know um i think they are scared and they are concerned but they also don't want to, to like scare me and yeah i think they are also they are trying not to scare me they are trying not to make me feel at danger i called my mom and she was like yo um, i hear but the country is on lockdown except you guys and other essential services and i was like yeah mommy we are the soldiers we go to work by the way shout out to the sa defense force shout out to um, police officers shout out to traffic officers shout out to the distribution companies you guys my brother works at the distribution company and they are also going to work uh yeah it's it's really <laughs> it's really challenging yeah so shout out to everyone that is not on lockdown uh be safe uh, and those who are traveling who are doing jobs that involves moving from one place to the other interacting with different people like the distributors make sure that you have sanitizers i asked my brother to buy sanitizers and sanitize and it said that this thing is also going to affect the transport industry like taxes and the very same people that are working on distribution industries the ones who are working as, as healthcare professionals some of them they don't have cars and now it's it, it, it also has to be a struggle for them to get to work because taxis will not be there they now have to struggle about work and luckily my brother has a colleague that has a car so in the morning he will be going to work with him and then in the evening i will have to fetch fetch him at work i just hope that the police and everyone that will be 
uh, patrolling around will understand that I have to fetch him because he knocks off around uh, 7, 8, sometimes even 9 o'clock because he travels to different provinces. Wow. Mwah, mwah. I will see you guys on my next video.